So hello guys, welcome to this quick video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can solve mathematical problems with the help of ChatGPT. Actually, in order to solve mathematical problems with the help of ChatGPT, we need to explain the math problem to ChatGPT in a latex format. Actually, if you are not familiar with what is the latex format, I'll be showing you what it is. So now sometimes, let's say, now as you can see right now, I have already ChatGPT open on my browser. And now uh, we, what we have to do is just we have to convert the mathematical problems to the latex format so there are a bunch of available tools out there that you can use in order to convert this kind of uh, questions to the latex format so here in this video i'm gonna use the uh, software called mathpix you can go over to the mathpix website in order to download this piece of software actually as you can see uh, whenever you are given the math problem in this image format you can for convert this kind of mass problems to the latex format now as you can see this is the latex format so depending on your operating system you can download this piece of software and then you can install actually since i have already downloaded and installed the software i'm not going to uh, go over the steps which i uh, went through in order to install the software so i have already i have the software uh, installed already uh, on my laptop now here what i'm gonna do is just uh, go to this software and now as you can see uh, once you install the software you will have a window just like this one so right now let's try some of the random math questions so for this just i'm gonna try a couple of uh, some sample limit questions just go to the first link now here so just a second please now as you can see we have the questions just like this one but as you can see questions are in the image format and then we cannot give this question directly to the chat gpt in order for the chat gpt to be able to understand this question we have to give this math question in the uh, latex format so as i mentioned earlier we will be using special software but uh, you can use any other software depending on your preference so now just go to this uh, piece of software and click here so now i'm going to capture this uh, area now if i capture this area now as you can see i'm getting this uh, uh, question in a latex format right now as you can see now what i'm going to do i'm going to click here this the blank page with the left arrow to copy the latex format now as you can see it's been copied and now i'm going to go to the chat gpt and i'm going to refresh the page because sometimes it may freeze and now just a second so yep now we are going to solve this problem so just paste the mathematical problem here as you can see this format this format is totally different than the one which which we can see on this website so just hit enter and we are going to wait for some time for the chat gpt to solve this mathematical problem and also we are going to make comparison with the uh, right answer the answer given by the chat gpt so as you can see the mathematical problem has been solved and according to this the answer of this mathematical problem is the 50 now we are going to check this out so click uh, on the solution now we are going to see whether the mathematical problem has been solved correctly or not now show solution now as you can see it is already 50 and also the answer given by the chat gpt is also 50 meaning that the mathematical problem has been solved uh, quite correctly by the chat GPT and also here let's try another uh, random question so here as you can see we've got bunch of any other random questions that you may try whenever you have free time so now let's say uh, let's try to solve the question number seven so we have to go over the same procedure just go to the software piece of software called mathpix snipping tool and click here and then we are going to capture the question so a question has been captured and now we have this question in the latex format i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to paste this question and then give it as an input to chat gpt so we are going to wait for some time in order to get the right answer calculated by the chat gpt so as you can see the calculation process is still underway So depending on the complexity of the math problem it's gonna get some time so therefore the limit of the expression as uh, as you can see the answer is one divided by four now we are gonna check 
so whether it's right or not so i think it's gonna take some time please excuse my terrible internet connection show solution yeah as you can see the question is one divided by four and also it's the same as the answer given by the chat gpt so guys this is the same procedure so this is the basic procedures that you can follow in order to solve any kind of mathematical problems with the help of chat gpt basically as i mentioned earlier in the beginning of this video as long as you give the right input to the chat gpt it can solve any kind of math problems and also uh, as i mentioned earlier you can solve any kind of math problems related to integral limit and also as well as simple math questions so that's it for this video and thank you so much for watching and if you like this video uh, please give it a likes and don't forget to share this video and also please subscribe to the channel thank you so much